Bless us with peace, angels. And when you go, angels, go with peace. Shalom. Shabbat shalom, everyone, and welcome to One Shul. I'm Kohenet Ketsira, and I am so pleased to be back here with you again tonight for our Kabbalat Shabbat service. I posted the link to the Siddur in the chat room, and I'll post it again now for you all as people are coming in. I want to double check and see if there's anyone new here with us tonight. I think uh, most of the names are ones I know quite well, but if you are new, if this is your first time here with us at a live service tonight, uh, please let us know. You'll find that the community, I hope you'll find, the community is very welcoming and will help orient you to our service. And of course, as always, we fully encourage you to chat in the pews, as it were, and engage using the chat room with the service. So it's not just you passively watching, but is you actively engaging with the community, with the service, and with Shabbat. So uh, let me say Shabbat Shalom, Haila, I hope I said your name right. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to One Shell. So, feeling tired tonight. <laughs> it's been a strange week. Uh, last couple of days have been quite strange, so I am, I'm ready for Shabbat. I don't know about you, but I am definitely ready for Shabbat and interesting it's the change of the seasons just looking outside my window it's actually bright sunlight still where I am right now it's uh, still daylight here sun hasn't quite come close to setting since it's summer oh, so our service tonight will follow a somewhat familiar pattern for those who have been here with us at One Shul before, but I was feeling a little inspired to go off script, uh, so I have a couple of substitutions that are going to be coming at you from other locations tonight than just the Sidor that uh, you have in front of you. So uh, I hope you enjoy the extra pieces that I'm adding in, and they're going to be coming out of the um, most recent version of the Kohenet Sidor, and of course, uh, Devora Kalila, who leads services with us here regularly from her amazing book, Flowers of Torah. If you don't have it, pick it up after Shabbat. So let's take a moment now to ground ourselves here and now. Before we light our candles, planting our feet firmly on the floor, whether you're choosing to stand or sit, bringing yourself into presence in your body, aligning yourself from above to below, bringing yourself into presence here and now, letting your week begin to fall away, letting whatever stresses and strains have been with you today begin to fall away, picking up your matches if you have yours handy, bringing your candles nearby so you can light them. And I know we're all over, well, it's actually across two countries it looks like tonight. Often we're across three or four, but it looks like we're across two countries tonight and many different time zones. So it may be hours away for you. And if you are in California, like Annette seems to be welcoming Shabbat in very early, 
just moving yourself into that space, releasing the ideas of creating, releasing the ideas of making and doing, and transitioning yourself, beginning the transition into just a space of being. And if you have your candles, first let's take our match tonight. And if you don't have your candles and matches, that's okay. Close your eyes and visualize this with me. Take the match. Smell the wood. Feel the wood or the paper of your match. Smell the flints at the end that you're going to light. Feel the edge of your book of matches or your lighter, whatever you're using. Feel the striker, that emery board that transforms this dormant potential energy into a flame. Really bring them into physical presence in your hands. Make yourself very aware of them. And then take a moment to be present with your candles. And again, if you don't have physical candles, Take a moment to just bring yourself into presence of candles in your mind's eye. What candlesticks are you using? These are from my wedding. <laughs> they were wedding gifts. Beeswax candles that smell so beautiful. Such a gift from the world around us and from an amazing candle maker. Mm. And the drippings of wax, not from my beeswax candles, but from other candles that don't burn as cleanly. And the air that feeds the fire of our candles. And then taking that match with great consciousness in your matchbook or your lighter with great consciousness and just presence in the physicality of the objects. Strike that match. Listening to the sound it makes, watching the flame, symbol of the soul, the different layers you can see in the flame, even in the match. We guide that flame to our candles, lighting the candles, covering our eyes. Vitivat nu la hadegne shel shabbat. Blessed are you, Holy One. Your presence fills creation, making us holy through the sacred connective action of lighting the Sabbath lights. Amen. And we breathe out the week and draw in the light of Shabbat and out the week and in the light of Shabbat and out the week and in the light of Shabbat. And we take in the sights of our candles burning, the beautiful flames as they glow, the complexity of the flame, its many layers against the wick. And as much as we are able, we are here and now and present in this moment of time.
And in this moment in time, what does receiving Shabbat, Kabbalat Shabbat, what does it mean to you tonight? What are you receiving? Receiving the Sabbath means receiving a small taste of what the world to come shall be like. A world freed from fear, hatred, and violence. Receiving the Holy One's everlasting grace and love. Coming together with the tribe, sacred space, sacred place, holy and sacred love, stepping out of time and into the divine, diving deep, deep, deep into the pool of blessings. So we may re-emerge overflowing with love, compassion, and bliss, bringing tikkun hanefesh, tikkun halev, and tikkun olam into this world. And as you continue sharing what it means to you tonight in the chat room, I want to welcome us and invite us into the practice of shamati. Shamati means I have heard. It's connected to the word shema, I hear. So I want to invite you, when people are sharing in the chat room tonight, whatever it is that they're sharing, to acknowledge that you've heard them, witness their sharing and their presence tonight in our community by typing the word Shemati, and maybe say it aloud too. And you don't have to do it every time, but to really help everyone know that they are heard and they are held and they are witnessed in our service tonight. So let them know that you hear them as they are sharing what's in their hearts as we go through our service tonight. Shabbat Shalom, Eve Tova. So good to have you physically, having you present in time with us again tonight. Mm. And as you are considering what it is that you are receiving tonight, one of the things that we all are receiving is the Divine Presence, the Sabbath Bride, Lecha Dodi. So we will continue pondering, feeling into opening and receiving with our Lecha Dodi on page five of your Sidor. Lecha Dodi Invite, take in, consider, regard, see, view, experience, incur, find, partake, touch, encounter, keep, fate, celebrate, Accept, meet, welcome the Sabbath bride with openness and peace, reconnecting with our faith. Invite, take in, consider, regard, see, view, experience, incur, find. Partake, touch, encounter, keep, fate, celebrate, accept, meet, welcome the Sabbath bride with openness and peace, reconnecting with our faith, invite, 
take in, consider, regard, see, view, experience, incur, find, partake, touch, encounter, keep, fate, celebrate, accept, meet, Welcome the Sabbath bride with openness and peace, reconnecting with our faith. kala Welcome Sabbath bride with openness and peace, Reconnecting with our faith. And breathe in that space, that open, receptive space. Breathe yourself into presence. Breathe yourself into Shabbat. Breathe in the Sabbath bride. And take a moment now and look at the sky outside, the evening as it is beginning to change. Wherever you are, Acknowledge that it is beginning to be evening and maybe the sun won't set for several hours for you. Maybe the sun has already set. Maybe it's just dusk, twilight right now, but here together, all together, it is the beginning, Ma'ariva, the time of blending of light. And if you're here at this service now with us, you are choosing to begin your Shabbat now, so the time is beginning to blend together. Baruchu et habrecha hamavorechet Baruchu et habrecha hamavorechet le'olam va'ed Baruchu et habrecha hamavorechet le'olam va'ed Give blessing to the pool of blessing, blessing to the pool of blessing in all the worlds throughout eternity. Blessing to the pool of blessing throughout the worlds, throughout eternity. Page seven. Ma'ariva. Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi. You open up the gates of time, Mariva, Aravi. You flow each moment so sublime, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva. Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi. You cycle forth the seasons, Mariva, Aravi. You give life reason, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva. Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi. You roll the dark and spill the light, Mariva, Aravi. You shine the day and soft the night, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva. Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi, Mariva, Aravi.
I've been exploring a lot lately the symbolism of the Hamsa. It's been a shape I've been feeling really called to in my artwork. It's been one that I have felt the desire to inquire more into both physically, intellectually, spiritually, and, and very body feeling way as well. Realizing that I kind of let it be just this thing and you're like, oh, well, you know, it's just a symbol of protection. And I hadn't given it a whole lot of deep thought. <laughs> and the, the Hamsa is in Jewish tradition, the hand of Miriam but it actually is one of the most universally beloved spiritual symbols. So for us, it's the hand of Miriam, the Hamsa. For our Muslim sisters and brothers, it's the hand of Fatima. And even for some Christians, it's considered the hand of Miriam. And while not identical, Buddhists also, the Buddha's hand, uh, it's not quite the same symbol, image, but again, that idea of the hand of the divine is such a powerful one across so many cultures. And I've been feeling into and playing a lot with the various correspondences for myself and, and really what it means to me. And our Ahavato Lum tonight, we're going to jump way, way down in our Sidor to the appendix that I frankly forgot was there until tonight. <laughs> I was preparing for the service. And to a song that is for me very much one of the ones that has really been grounding me in more and more what I mean by the Hamsa when I have it up, what is what it's there for, what it's the symbol of. And for me, it is very much the, the hand of the divine, but specifically the weaver's hand. And it's the aspect of the divine that is the sacred weaver of, of, the, of the worlds, of life. And it's one of the pathways of service within the Kohenic community and also one of the ways that the divine reveals itself to us in feminine form in the Kohenic community. So for me it's a really deep and powerful one that I work with and as many of you know I work with threads and fiber so the weaver is uh, a very dear place in my heart as a divine metaphor. And so our Ahavat Olam tonight is Shirat HaParachet, uh, The Whole Wide World by my teacher uh, Shoshana Jedwab, which is also based on the teachings of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. And I'm very much seeing the sharings that you're weaving into the chat room right now as well. There is one line in particular uh, that is in there and I'm laughing because I'm not sure I'm seeing it in this version that's hilarious because it's uh, <laughs> there it is the whole wide world is in the weaver's hands and tonight Shabbat is when we allow the weaver's hands to rest when we stop asking the great weaver to do anything but to envelop us with the great love of the world and so for our Ahavat Ulam, I invite you into this song with me tonight. Let's see, I'm trying to decide if I feel like singing it. Ah, I have it right here. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to let uh, Bat Shemesh Shoshana Jebwab sing this for me and for you so you can hear it. Uh, and it's very much full glory. The whole wide world is a very narrow bridge. The whole wide world is a very narrow bridge. Don't be 
afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. The whole wide world is a very narrow bridge. The whole wide world is a very narrow thread. The whole wide world is a very narrow thread. I think I'll follow it. 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 The whole wide world is a very narrow thread. The whole wide world is a abundant colored string. The whole wide world is abundant colored string. Scarlet, purple, blue, and green. 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 The whole wide world is abundant colored string.
a world love you have woven for your people Yisrael through the sacred threads of Torah and mitzvot. When we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your patterns and will play with the warp and weft of your Torah and mitzvot forever. For they clothe our lives and our days and we will wrap ourselves in them as days and nights go by. Do not take away your love from us. Blessed are you, Ya Shekhinah Oraget, whose love is woven into your people, Yisrael. And there are so many who seem to want us to be afraid these days, afraid of ourselves, afraid of each other, afraid of trusting, afraid of living, afraid of being, afraid of leading with love. It's one of the reasons that we begin our Shema with the ancient invocation, L'Shem Yehud Kol Panei Elohut, Elohut. For the sake of the unification of all faces of holiness. And before we recite that three times together, I want to invite you to share in the chat room what name of holiness you will invoke in your Shema tonight. Judaism has so many names for the divine, so many ancient ones, somewhat ancient ones, old ones, modern ones, ones that you may be discovering in this exact moment in time, recognizing that the divine is beyond anything any of us can truly name as one thing or one face or one way of being. It's a diamond with so many facets that we can't even begin to see all of the reflections and fire and color within it. And so as we are naming all of our ways of understanding and engaging and experiencing the divine, and as you are saying and invoking your Shema tonight, hear all of those other names of the divine and let them come into you as well as other true and resonant ways of being that are good for someone else, even if not for you personally, even at a very loud hip hop in the background, if you were hearing that, somebody drove by, is a sacred expression of the divine. Three times. L'Shem Yehud Kol Elohut, page nine. L'Shem Yehud Kol Elohut. L'Shem Yehud Kol Elohut. Shema.
Mother, sister, daughter, crone, widow, orphan, brother, neighbor, oppressor, stranger. Lay down your burden. There is a reservoir waiting to be filled with your tears. Take these inculcations into your womb, into your body. Speak of them when you rise up and when you lie down in the place where you momentarily make your home and in your, the heart where your soul resides. Remove the bindings from your eyes. Let your deeds of justice be your davening. Revision halacha, releasing stuck regimen. Listen to the earth's law defining new ritual. Let these words become a signpost that you may cultivate a forest of living waters sprouting from your every pore. May you sweat your prayers, nourish your fingertips and your hip bones, pour the gratitude for these gritty moments daily over your body. Shower your spirit with this one phrase of truths and histories. I am alive. Holiness is within me. I am free. I am liberated by surrender. I am alive. Holiness is within me. Inculcation by Kohenet Ray Abila. In the light or the darkness, if I fly or if I fall, it's Chaim El Shaddai. I am not alone at all. In the light or the darkness. If I fly or if I fall, it's Chaim El Shaddai. You are not alone at all. In the light or the darkness. If we fly or if we fall, it's Chaim El Shaddai. We are not alone at all. Go forward, always down. Never left or right. Instructions to Ariadne, keeper of the labyrinth. Here is the real in the throat and the sternum and the feet and the churning of the gut. Not the past, not the law, not the wish, not the fear, not the story. Trust what the body tells you. Everyone else is lying. The girl with the lantern is here, disorganized, stubborn, to take you through the dark tunnels. You don't want to trust her. But she knows the way. You know this. Do not let yourself forget, as you so often have to your regret. Follow her down into the arms of the earth, the other disorganized, stubborn body that never 
lies. Do not turn left or right. Below the skin, the pulse is singing. Follow that sound. Amida tonight is from Flowers of Torah by Kohenet Devora Kalila, who many of you know. And I invite you now to come into alignment again in your body. Check in with how you're, you are. Rise as you are able or fall to the earth if that's your practice. But however you choose to hold yourself, be in full alignment so the breath, the blood, the energy can flow through your body. And take in what here is a blessing for children as the Amida, the praise of the ancestors all powers, holiness, understanding, repentance and forgiveness, redemption, healing, abundance, rebuilding of Jerusalem within and without, restoration of the temple service and gratitude. Take in all of these many things as you allow yourself to receive blessing and to bless the world around you and those here in this service as sacred children of the divine. You are stardust and starlight, thick money, thick mud and lilac honey, twirling and tumbling a rock polished in ocean waves. You are a prayer the earth sings to herself. You are a prayer, the curve of a wing turning in flight, the curl of a fern unborn, the spilled seeds half buried, the turning strand of web holding drops. You are crystal waters moving over granite and tiny points of sunlight reflected in it. The glint in the mountain air and the flashing eye of a mountain lion. You are a leaf rubbing bark, a spark swaying from burnt cedar a bubble rising in a turquoise pool, a yellow flower centered in a red cliff wall, prayers of the earth singing your prayer. Blessed are you, Yah Shekhinah, who blesses her people, Yisrael, and all those who dwell on earth with peace. Ose shalom bim roma. Huya se shalom ale. Ve'al kol Yisrael Ve'imru, imru amin Yase shalom, yase shalom Shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu, y'all call Yisrael. Osa shalom bimromeha, hitase shalom aleinu, 
Osa shalom bim romer Hitase shalom aleinu Meishi who makes peace Shine peace upon all of us Meishi who makes peace shine peace upon all of us. From the place of peace, I invite you now to think about those in your life in need of healing and to share their names in the chat room. We'll take just a moment to think about those people, to bring their names to mind and to share their names before reciting our Misha Berach, our healing prayer tonight. Join me on page 22 of our Siddur. Eloheinu, Holy One, let us know healing. Let us be nurtured in body and spirit and weave us into the wings of your Shekhinah. Let our prayers resonate on the strings of the web of life and know that we are ready to receive healing. Oreget Shekhinah, Ya, Weaver, presence, breathing life of the world. Let all those that we named aloud or in our hearts, and all those with no one to pray for them, no healing of body, mind, and spirit, swiftly and soon. And let us say, Amen. Out beyond right and wrong, there's a field. I will meet you there. Out beyond right and wrong, there's a field. I will meet you there. Out beyond right and wrong. Out beyond right and wrong, there's a field. I will meet you there. Out beyond right and wrong. Out beyond right and wrong, there's a field. I will meet you there. In our service, we pray for two kinds of healings for those that we love. Healing of body, mind, and spirit of those still in this earthly plane with us. 
and true healing of the soul for those that have passed on into the next life. Please take time now to think about those that you have loved and lost. Offer their names in the chat room so we may all honor and pray for them to help them transition into the next life fully. Amen. Da Amiran Belma, Vimaru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya Vechayim Alenu, Vial Kol Israel, Vimaru, Amen. O Sasha Lom Vimrameha, Hita Ase Shalom, Alenu Vial Kol Israel, Yal Kol Yoshve Tevel, Vimaru, Amen. I send you on with love in my heart, crying tears of joy for the life you have lived, praising the source of life for connecting our lives. I send you on to the next life. I send you on the way you lived, embracing who you were, not the space that you leave, praising the source of life for allowing us to love. I send you on to the next life. I send you on without fear. I will not curse or rend my garments. Praising the source of life for granting us time. I send you on to the next life. I send you on with praise, singing songs of joy for all creation. Praising the source of life for making us flesh and blood. I send you on to the next life. I send you on with libations and toasts drinking to health and drinking to memory, praising the source of life for giving us words to share. I send you on to the next life. I send you on with stones, not flowers. I will not add death to death, praising the source of life for all creation. I send you on to the next life. May the source of peace Bring peace to all who mourn. May all who mourn find comfort. And let us say, Amen. May she bless you. May she keep you as she shines her face. May you embody grace, and as she brings release, may you give birth to peace. May she bless you, and may she keep you as she shines her face. May you embody grace as she brings release. May you give birth to peace. May she bless you. And may she keep you as she shines her face. 
May you embody grace as she brings release. May you give birth to peace. May our eyes be your eyes, shining and blessing your people everywhere with peace. And let us say, Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much for joining us here at One Shul tonight. Thank you for being a part of this community. If you are not already a member of our private One Shul members community and you're here live tonight in real time with us, you are eligible to join. Email me at katsira at punktora.org. Uh, make sure I know your name as you showed up here tonight so I can add you in. Daniel, I know you've been trying and you've been having trouble joining. So I think there's a new, something new happened on Facebook because this happens all the time. And they added a new page and I think you might be able to find it from this link now. Uh, if you go over to the facebook.com slash one shul, there's now a groups button and you should be able to click that to join. Also, if you haven't discovered Hala Club yet, that is our other um, group that we have going at one shul every month. Uh, I develop a special newsletter about Hala for the month along with Rabbi Andrea who writes an amazing a uh, deep dive on a specific practice around challah, really giving us something embodied and a physical thing to do uh, as part of our practice, embracing challah as a fundamental Jewish practice, whether you bake or buy your challah. And we did have our very first members only service recently, so for Shavuot, um, which was so much fun. I ac actually got to see and hear everyone else for once, which was really lovely. And we'll probably be doing that from time to time as well. Finding ways for us to build bonds as a community, to support each other, to be there for each other, and to really help each other grow in our practice as a community. So I will be back Oh, okay, Hila. So this link should get you there. And if you want to uh, join Hala Club, actually, please go to hold on oneshill.org slash Hala. Ooh, I'm typing it. So it's Hala dash club. There you go. That will get you first fill that up before you just join the Facebook page. So you actually get the email for Hala Club. And it's for bakers and buyers, Eve Tova. So it's okay. You don't have to bake. That's why we have the have things for people who bake and people who don't bake for everybody. So we can all get more out of our Shabbat challah practice each month. So thank you so much. Such a pleasure. <laughs> challah cupcakes. I love it for me to be here with you again. Thank you so much for being part of this community. I can't say that enough. We'll be back for Rosh Chodesh soon. And once the school year is over, uh, Devorah Kalila should be back with us for services. And if you have ideas for new clubs or groups we can start with, one show, please let me know. Um, if you're interested in, in leading that, that would be amazing. So, uh, let me know and okay I'm not exactly sure how that new groups thing works on the Facebook page so if you don't see it uh, email me I'll answer after Shabbat so katsira at punktora.org and I will get you connected in as if I can manage it so Shabbat Shalom Laila Tov thank you so much for taking your time and being a part of this community being here live with us tonight I'm going to turn the singing back over to Taya Ma to sing us out tonight. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>
מלאכי